Why is he burning? It looks like water. Oh my gosh. Well, that went from bad to worse. Tranquilizer transgressions, electrifying episodes, and John Wick. Is that you? Today, we're back at it, reacting to the diabolical medical scenes and shocking injuries from Hell of a Boss. Let's dive right in. I was waiting for it. Anterior laceration to the neck. Major structures right on the side. Your carotid arteries and your internal jugular veins. And then obviously you have your airway in the front. Airway is protected by the cartilage. There is some blood vessels in the front, but the biggest bleeders will be on the sides. Do I ever see somebody who's been decapitated? No, because they don't come to the hospital. We do see people that have what's called an internal decapitation when they get a severe cervical spine injury, usually due to high velocity injuries. Oh, just sliced in a body in half, just like Mortal Kombat. Heart is middle central, but then also to the left, but your aorta comes up, goes a little bit to the right, and then down to the left side. Not something I've ever seen come through the emergency department. So all four limbs are amputated. That's gonna be very hard to salvage, save. You're literally going to have to put somebody in four different tourniquets. If you have tourniquets, grab the limbs, take them with you to the hospital. But your first goal basically is to prevent the person from dying from bleeding out. Could you have a four limb prosthetics? Yes. Ah, cover me. Yes, sir. Some of these individuals are going down with one shot, some take a couple, and that is quite common. Depending on where the bullet hits you will depend on what's hit underneath. Sometimes it's soft tissue, sometimes it's one shot and you're done. We see a lot of animal bites that come to the emergency department. House pets, to strays, to random animals. We see people come in, might have thought they got bit by a bat because they're concerned about rabies. Bats typically don't cause pain when they bite, so if there's any inclination that there could have been a bat bite, we will treat for rabies. Explosive injuries, right? We talk about those often. Different type of compressive forces, basically. Body can get shrapnel, lacerations, puncture wounds. It can just be ripped apart. We also see people who get potentially fractured ribs and punctured lungs. Oh, we got a blow dart. We got some sort of dart to the neck. We don't use tranquilizers in the emergency department. We use sedatives. Do we have medications that work that fast? Uh, we have meds that work pretty darn fast. Typically we'll work in 10 to 15 seconds to get somebody to be sedated. I won't be When somebody gets electrocuted, cardiac arrhythmias is the bad stuff, and then burning the tissue as well as burning the nerves and having chronic long-term nerve problems if it's a highly sustained injury. Well, we could play games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Truth bomb. It's pathetic. <laughs> that was oddly personal. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why the f I just let my guts spill like that. Oh my gosh, so we got some truth serum, right? Makes me first think of all the truth serums out there. There's no such thing as truth serum. The more common one that I've heard names of is sodium pentothal, but we don't use that at the hospital. We don't use truth serums. That's more of a spy world thing. <laughs> this is gonna be a good night. We do have some medications that we use that are gas. Sometimes you go to a dentist and they'll give you nitrous oxide. When you go to the hospital, you have surgery. We'll give you medications to basically knock you out, but they actually use gas to keep you down. <laughs> oh. We deal with a lot of burns that come to the hospital. Treatment for burn pretty much is pain management. If it's open charred tissue, you may need to have a skin graft. You typically will have a graft from your own body part. So like usually your thigh or your buttocks would be a donor site. Why is it burning? It's like water. Oh my gosh. Well, that went from bad to worse. Obviously, you worry about like smoke inhalation, swelling of the airway. I've seen many cases where you see like burned nose hairs, eyebrows, black soot in somebody's mouth. That's a scary indication that the fire got into the airway. 
Whose trunk of their car looks like that? That dirty. No one with Eminem's marriage, but me. Oh. oh. Another injection into the neck with some random green goop. Green stuff that we see in the emergency department liquid wise. Sometimes there's some antibiotics that have like a neon hue to it. Liquid cocaine. Yes, I said that correctly. Liquid cocaine is green. Sorry, babe. You aren't the only junk in my trunk. If a wound has green on it, then you're concerned about the specific types of bacteria that are in the wound. Sometimes people poops are green. Usually that's okay. It's usually related to uh, food dyes. The other thing that we see a lot of that's green is bile. Bile is stored in your gallbladder, helps digest fats. Whoa, a little taser. Take care of the others. We don't see those type of handheld taser injuries. Typically, they're just causing a local issue. What we end up seeing is a lot with the, the police tasers where they're shot out and there are barbs that are stuck into your skin. Oh, geez, strangulation issue. Mechanism for strangulation injuries are related to the compression of the vessels of the neck as well as the compression of the airway itself. So it's twofold. Welcome, bingo. And this must be Tuna. Luna, yeah, and you can hurry up, please. She's a fan of shots, so let's try and make this quick for all of our sakes. He's a doctor, he's a goat. It's got flame from his head. Hmm. I see hellhounds every day, and there hasn't been one that has caused any issue. That is a massive syringe. We don't have syringes that big. If you need to give that much fluid to somebody, you're not going to give it as an IM injection. That's too much fluid. You'd give it in an IV and drip it over a period of time because you don't want any adverse reactions of giving something too fast to somebody. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Right there. Told you to Sometimes, say like with a dog or a cat, you can actually give subcutaneous, so underneath the skin, basically fluid. And you get like a big pocket of fluid there, especially if you can't get an IV, and the body reabsorbs it. You know, we see a lot of humans that end up getting like jaw fractures, teeth that get broken or a bolst out. So if you get a bolst tooth out, find the tooth, wash it off, typically just rinse it or put it in your mouth, go to the hospital immediately. Oh. Intramuscular injection right into the gluteus maximus. Maybe just one glute? We actually do injections that way. If you have syphilis, the treatment is an IM injection of penicillin which does hurt. So not bad, a hell of a boss, not bad. There were a lot of other things that we were able to talk about, which is good, and it was actually quite entertaining for me. I don't know if it was quite entertaining for you, I hope it was. Also, big new things on the horizon. Check out my brand new supplement company, Life Happens. If you guys definitely enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.